78 Sports TV here. So I'm checking out my boy Boxing Beast and Rhymes page. Doing it from Boxing Beast and Rhymes channel. This is Tony Thompson. Chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. This is that Mayor Hawk Four Man Store on Boxing Beast and Rhymes YouTube channel. I don't know if you're an answer. Possible Manny Pacquiao fight with Boy Mayor how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, basically, I mean, it's a fight that still has a potential to happen. On the Nathan Cleverly, Tony Ballou on the card, James DeGale faces Marco Antonio Paraban, who recently lost to Jay Leon Love. But he's a tough fighter. He floored Jay Leon Love, and he drew with Badu Jack. Gave Sakyo Beaker a very tough fight for that vacant WBC super middleweight crown. James is awaiting his mandatory shot at Carl Frotch for the IBF title. Frotch is undecided whether he's going to take the match. A lot of people say he's ducking James DeGale. Um, you see, it's awkward to say that he's ducking. This is a fight if Carl Frotch had to establish himself back in the day. He would have took it in a heartbeat and fought the guy. But now he's at that stage there. You know what I mean, he's looking to cash in, get some chips and... Maybe not take the easiest fight, but he wants to make it pay. He definitely wants to make it pay. And um, the IBF don't really play with a mandatory position. So, you know, he's going to either have to give up the belt or let James the Girl breathe and let him live and do his thing and fight for the vacant crown if he doesn't want to fight him. But at the same time, James the Girl cannot afford to overlook Paraban. They've gave him such a opponent of this status because the fight's on pay-per-view. They can't just give you a little scrap opponent like that, you know? I'm not saying Paraban is the most dangerous guy ever. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But when you have a mandatory title shot that's rightfully yours, promoters and matchmakers will tend to match you up. A little further down the pecking order in order to protect their investment. But I like the match. I like the match. If he comes through this one, it keeps him sharp. It keeps him nice and sharp. And um, he's on schedule to take that crown, or at least attempt to take it and give it all he has. Regardless if Frotch is in the other corner, or whoever else they have. I've never seen this Christopher Rebrasi fight. I've never seen Gilberto Ramirez. Julius Jackson got knocked out in his last fight against um, Andy Lee, and I think that was at middleweight. So, I don't know Maxim Vlaskov. Brandon Gonzalez, he got knocked out. Rocky Fielding at eight. Uh, that's quite unbelievable to believe that he's got such a high rating, but it is what it is. Muhammad Ali Nadaye, never heard of him. And George Groves at ten. So whoever whoever they pitch in there, you know, he'll be ready and he'll be sharp. The Paraban fight keeps him sharp. It doesn't let him get lazy and complacent by banging over some stiff. So I don't mind that fight. I don't mind. I don't mind keeping um, a contender busy with good mark time fights like that. But in all truth, he should beat Paraban quite handily. He should be too quick. As long as he doesn't stay on the ropes too long, you know, uses the angles and whatnot and comes in top shape, he should win that handily. He should win that handily. I don't think stoppage, though. I reckon on points. But if he can produce the type of punching that he did against Gonzalez, you could get him out there as well. There's no reason he couldn't get him out of there. Good mark time fight for James DeGale. I'm hoping he wins this. And um, I'm hoping Carl Frotch takes up the challenge and fights the guy. It would be a big fight over here. Carl Frotch is kind of downplaying it like it won't be a big fight. No, it would be a big fight over here. It would be massive. It would be massive. But if Carl Frotch is looking for Chavez, you know, Chavez ain't fought in ages. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he's not really a bona fide contender at middleweight or super middleweight. In my opinion. Just my opinion. He's, he just ain't. He just ain't. He's not a factor. He's not a factor. But um, if he can get a big money fight fighting Chavez, then he's going to do that. That's what he's going to do. But DeGale will not be denied. I have him beating Paraban and winning well. And by the new year, he should deservedly get his title shot. You know. He took out Brandon Gonzalez in that eliminator in good style. No complaints. He's fought whoever they've put in front of him. So now it's his time. Frotch. Talking about fighting Mikkel Kessler for a third time. For crying out loud. you know, He's really looking for the seniors tour with that one. you know. 
Nobody wants to see that fight. Nobody. Nobody wants to see that fight. You know, I'm not saying he has to fight the girl, but that's not a good option if he doesn't fight the girl. You know? Frock said he knows that he'll knock the girl out. Mm, okay. See, once you say them things, you leave yourself open to say, well, why don't you do it then? If you're going to come out and say, yeah, the girl knows I'll knock him out. Well, you need to show and prove. And I'm not saying he might, he might well take the fight. Eddie Hearn is saying he's mulling it over. So, you know, we, we'll wait for that. We'll wait for that. He's trying to give off that impression that he's not motivated. He even said it himself. If he's not motivated and he goes in there with someone like the girl, his mandatory like the girl, anything can happen. There's a good chance he could lose. I'm just paraphrasing, but he did almost say that. But the thing is, in my opinion, even if he was motivated and up for the fight, it's still a 50-50 fight. The girl has a great chance of beating Carthroach. In my opinion, I've got the girl just shading a very close fight. Whether we'll get the decision or not, I'm not saying because it'll be a robbery. It could be that kind of fight where it's just very hard to split. But Paraban it is. Let's not overlook Paraban on the Nathan Cleverly, Tony Ballou bill. Peace out.